Hi, I'm Stu from Hivemind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we'll be taking a look at integrating Have I Been Pwned data into Home Assistant. While I roll the intro, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week. And let's get started. If you haven't heard of Have I Been Pwned, it is a fantastic resource for finding out if your information has been compromised in a data leak from a website or other online service that you're subscribed to. Have I Been Pwned was started by Troy Hunt, a Microsoft Regional Director, MVP, and information security blogger and YouTuber, who's also got some home automation content on his blog and on his YouTube channel. If you haven't already checked your email address on Have I Been Pwned, you absolutely should because a lot of web services and vendors don't always let you know when they've had a data breach and your data has been compromised. To do that, you just go to haveibeenpwned.com, enter your email address or even your phone number in here and click Pwned to find out if you have been pwned. You can also set up Have I Been Pwned to email you when a data breach occurs by clicking on the Notify Me button here and then putting in your email address and making sure that you are not a robot and clicking the Notify Me of Pwnage button here. Just last week, Have I Been Pwned sent me an email to let me know that my account on Thingiverse had been affected by a data breach at MakerBot and MakerBot, the owners of Thingiverse, didn't bother to let me know about the data breach until this morning. Now with timely information and warnings about data breaches on your accounts, you can be a bit more proactive about your online security by ensuring that your passwords are changed ASAP when they are leaked. Now, what if we were to get that information in Home Assistant and then run automations to send us alerts when those breaches occur, rather than having to rely on email because if you're anything like me you get about 600 emails a day and trying to find the useful things in amongst all of the spam is a bit of a challenge. To set up the Have I Been Pwned integration in Home Assistant we do need to get an API key and we can do that on the Have I Been Pwned site by going to the API key link here underneath the API tab. We click on there, enter our email address and verify that we're not a robot and verify the email address. Now it is worth mentioning that the API key does cost $3.50 US per month for that API key subscription. The token amount of money is actually a part of the security model for the Have I Been Pwned API. Without this fee, malicious actors could simply register multiple keys and just start wailing on the API with multiple keys until they hit the rate limit for each key. For a legitimate user though, $3.50 US per month is just one less cup of coffee per, mo per month. And that's going to provide you with some fantastic data about whether your personal information has been compromised. And you also need to bear in mind that a compromise of your personal data could very easily cost you far more than $3.50. So think of it like insurance. On top of that, this $3.50 a month helps to cover some, but obviously nowhere near all of the costs for Troy to continue running the site and maintaining it so that it remains available for everyone to use. And this is a great part of the internet that should be available. It's a fantastic service. So once you've got your API key and you've spent your $3.50, now you can either choose to spend that on a recurring monthly bill or you can do a one-off one month subscription. Once you've got your API key, we can head over to Home Assistant and start setting up the integration. Now this particular integration doesn't yet have a setup through the web interface. So we're going to need to edit our configuration.yaml file. So I'll head over to Visual Studio Code and we'll open up our configuration.yaml file. And, and I'm going to find my sensor section here and I'm just going to add a new platform here. And the platform is have I been pwned. And then 
we're going to put in here email because it's taking our email address and we can add multiple so I'm going to add an array now what I've done here is I've added my email addresses into my secrets file so I'm going to put in bang secret h-i-b-p email underscore one and then we need api underscore key and again I'm going to go bang secret h-i-b-p Key. So I've used my secrets file to protect my API key and also my three email addresses in here. But my email addresses are going to show up in the entities once we restart. So I'm going to do something in the background to hide those. Uh, now, obviously I've missed a couple of steps here because I need to add a platform in here and then uh, that should fix everything out. Uh, Got a couple more errors. I'm just gonna indent that back that way and that's fixed all our errors now. So uh, when you are done, your setup should look a little bit like this. So platform, have I been pwned, email, and then we've got the array of the email addresses that we're going to look at uh, and then our API key. Personally, I would recommend that you put any email addresses and uh, API keys into your secrets file to keep those uh, separate from your main configuration.yaml file. So now that we've added that configuration to our configuration.yaml, we're going to head over to our configuration menu, we're going to scroll down to server controls and we're going to check our configuration because we've modified the configuration.yaml file. And so long as we get configuration valid, we can restart Home Assistant Core and this is gonna take a couple of minutes to restart. What we'll do before we come back, I'm going to obfuscate my email addresses on the newly created entities just so that uh, I protect my own privacy, uh, but we'll take a look at the entities that get created uh, when Home Assistant comes back up. So now that Home Assistant has started up and I've already gone through the work to uh, customize the entities to obfuscate the email addresses. I'm going to scroll down to my census section and you'll see that we have these three new entities here. We've got our breaches Apple ID. So uh, those are breaches that have occurred on the email address I use for my Apple ID. We've got breaches on the HiveMind Automation email address and we've got breaches on the primary email address. And uh, we've got the number of those breaches. So six, zero, and 17. So if we take a look at, for example, my Apple ID uh, breaches, we can see that um, we've just got that graphed, but if we click on the drop down next to the attributes, we'll see some information here about how that's all kind of happened. So as you can see, we've got some pretty reasonable data about the data breaches that we've got, but we're going to take this a step further and we're going to create an automation based on these sensors. So if we go to configuration and we'll go to automations and I'm going to click add automation and start with an empty automation. And I'm just going to call this one alert. Have I been pwned? So we've given it a name. So uh, a single trigger mode is fine. Our trigger type, we're going to select state and for our entity we can select uh, breaches and I'm just going to use my primary email address here so we don't actually need any of the from or to anytime the state of this sensor changes uh, that's going to trigger the automation uh, so we will scroll down and we can add conditions if we want uh, I'm not going to worry about adding a con condition, uh, but we're going to, in our actions, we're going to call a service and the service that we want is notify and we're going to notify.notify .notify, and we'll scroll down and we'll put title critical alert and message. Have I been owned reports that you have indeed been pwned. Check the data immediately and take 
appropriate action. Uh, and we can leave the target alone and the data alone. We don't need to worry about that. We would probably maybe want to make this a critical alert type, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to save that automation. And what I'm going to do to try and trigger that manually is I'm going to go to my developer tools and I'm going to go to breaches and I select my primary email address here and I'm going to change the state to 18 and I'm going to click set state. I have indeed received an alert on my iPad that I have been breached. So now anytime the value of breaches changes, we should receive that push notification on our iPad or any other device that is linked into Home Assistant using the Home Assistant mobile app. So as you can see, Have I Been Pwned is a fantastic service to give you far more insight into the security of your digital life. And for that small amount of money every month, you can get that information into Home Assistant, allowing you to set up timely alerts about breaches so that you can take the appropriate action before it's too late and you've lost money, data, or other valuable things. Of course, getting alerts for breaches is not a substitute for good security practices, like enabling multi-factor authentication, good password hygiene, including getting a trustworthy password manager, and being diligent when it comes to phishing scams. That's all we have for this video, and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to comment down below with home automation ideas that you'd like to see me cover in future videos. Don't forget to follow HiveMind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and those links are also in the video description below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button to give it a like, and if you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to hit the subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos each week. If you're currently in the market for a VPN provider, I've also placed an affiliate link for NordVPN in the video description as well. I've chosen to partner with NordVPN because they've got the best infrastructure of any of the VPN providers I've looked at. They also have a strict no logs policy and servers all over the planet. On top of that, they've got apps for just about every platform around, including Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So no matter what platform you're using, you can protect your information while you browse the web. So get a VPN today and use my link below to sign up for NordVPN. Lastly, if you enjoy what I do here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description below. Contributions made through buy me a coffee are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from HiveMind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.